And Brenda Fries isn't the only Maryland basketball coach making moves lately. It's been a little over a month since Kevin Willard took over as the new skipper for the men's basketball team, but he's already gotten to work. And who better to break down the latest news from the recruiting cycle than TLB's Wright brothers, Logan Hill and Noah Ferguson. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks for having us. All right, so there's been a lot of talk about who Willard might bring in to fill in some of these scholarship spots, whether it's from transfers or recruits. So, so far he's only signed Maryland native and IMG product, Noah Bachelor. So what do we know about him? Um, he's an athletic wing, and that's a good place to start when you have a lot of holes to fill. And being a Maryland native, he's going to drum up the coming home, the, all that, and it's really good for your first recruit to be that kind of player, especially when the talk around the Maryland basketball program had been not being able to get homegrown products. So to start with one, it's a good place. Yeah, I mean, and first he's got a sick name, so, uh, <laughs> but, but second of all, as, as Logan said, he's, uh, I mean, he's, he's an athletic wing and he brings a lot of excitement to this program as someone that's from Maryland, as Willard tries to get into that DMV recruiting that, that uh, Terps fans have missed out on for, for a little while now. Now, I guess the really only question there is, can he wear a pastel as nice as you guys have today? Oh, but stop. Uh, now, Maryland has been in the mix for a number of big names, a couple of big names in the transfer portal, most notably Detroit Mercy's Antoine Davis, the number three scorer in college basketball last season. Now, what are the odds that Willard's able to land someone like that? I don't know necessarily what the odds are, but if you're a fan of Maryland basketball, if you're someone that follows the program, you just have to be happy that Maryland is in the running for these guys because so often throughout the last couple of years, we didn't see that. And we're starting to see that. Like, Sky Clark didn't commit to Maryland, but Maryland made his top five. So just to start there, um, more names, more guys interested in the program. It's going to build up the program on its own, and it's also going to bring in some bigger names. And, and that's a good thing for Kevin Willard, too. It, it, it speaks to his name and notoriety, as well as the program's name, as he talked about in his introductory press conference that Maryland was a top 10 job in the country. So uh, that, I think that kind of speaks to the, the pedigree that Maryland is trying to get back to, that some of these big name recruits, even in a, in a year where it could be a rebuild year next year, people are already trying to transfer into the program. Yeah, exactly. And since Jay Wright stepped down at Villanova, there's been a lot of buzz about Willard getting a possible recruit here at home. So it's been reported that 2022 Wildcat commit Cam Whitmore is weighing his options after Wright's recruitment. So do you guys think that Maryland could swoop in? Uh, yeah, well, the latest I've heard is that there hasn't been so much talk from his camp necessarily. But he is, he went to Spalding, which is not far from here. It's about 40 minutes. And he's number 21 in the nation, according to ESPN. So if he does open back up his recruitment, Maryland was in his top 10. And that gets back to what we're talking about of just being in the running. So he's another athletic wing. And if he wants to be a star in his home state, he could come back to Maryland and do just that. And with Jay Wright stepping down, who knows what's next for Villanova. So just, again, to even be in contention for some of these big names is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and Jay Wright stepping down is a huge thing for Maryland men's basketball because Jay Wright has been a juggernaut in the DMV area. Area for in terms of recruiting and and so Maryland's missed out on a lot of those recruits that have gone over to Villanova so to, to, to have him step down maybe Willard can step up as that guy who's really run the recruiting game in the DMV area for a long time and, and Cam Whitmore is a, is a good litmus test there and I know that he's obviously going to get some help from his assistant coaches that he has hired now as well that do have DMV roots so we'll definitely look forward to that guys Thanks, as always. It's always a pleasure having you here in studio to break it all down with us. So uh, thanks for coming on again, as always. Yeah, thanks for having us. And thanks, it's friend. a shame there's no game today. Uh. <laughs>